This is my charging management um, circuit, I guess you could call it. Um, ignore the 10 amps on the screen right now, that's just a simulated value. So you can push the button and start the charge. And then you can see the LED flashing. And I've got this pot on here just to simulate the volts. Uh, you can see that the yellow LED is for the charger relay. Um, so slowly turn the ramps up, or the volts up. And as we get up to certain threshold, this just tells you that it's it's gotten up to this 87 volt threshold, so that it'll it'll know that it goes to a float after that. So now we're in mode two, meaning that it got up to 87. So here it would be in the absorption stage. It'd be stuck at 88.2 volts until the amps came down. Again, ignore the 10 amps. That's just a value I've plugged in there for this um, simulation. Um, so now it would uh, each charger would start coming down, and once it got below 83 or whatever you have programmed it to, now it's gone to float. You can see that's mode three, and the LED flash is quicker. Now this is where the timer would kick in, and uh, it, I'd allow it to be on float for a certain amount of time. And we'll just wait a second here, and there we go, charge complete, mode four. The uh, green light has come on, and the charge relay is turned off. Um, I've also added a circuit in case you wanted to float them for a long, long, long time, which is a good thing to do with lead acids every once in a while. I've got a switch here that would basically ignore the timer and keep it floating for a long time. Yeah, that's it.